Hi, welcome back to another Crypto Day video. It's Monday, which means another Staking Coins and Masternodes update video. And as promised last week, I've tweaked the the data that I'm showing you and the tables and stuff like that. So we've now got two tables of information and I've updated uh, some of the values and some of the headings within those tables uh, to reflect really what uh, some of you asked for. So everybody who sent me a comment and made suggestions, thanks very much for those. I have taken those on board and hopefully uh, this new format is a little bit more useful than the previous one. But let's start with this uh, first table. This is the, I suppose, the most important one on a weekly basis. So it shows our weekly state coins and weekly state uh, returns in dollars. Now, Let's just start, uh, run over basically the tables kind of like very quickly, um, column by column. So uh, the first one, if you haven't been following this uh, series of videos, shows you whether I'm staking or running a masternode for the particular coin. Then I've got the total number of coins um, held, that's as of uh, midnight last night. Uh, the total worth based on the spot price midnight last night. Total staked coins, so this is since I started staking them. So this is the total staked uh, coins in the entire time I've had that coin and the total stoked, uh, staked uh, dollar amount as well. Now this dollar amount isn't reflective of last night's spot price, this is reflective of the price when the coins were actually staked. So um, coins that were staked on the 1st of January um, will have the, the corresponding price or the corresponding earnings for the 1st of January and then you know 2nd, 3rd, etc, etc. So this comes directly from my accounting spreadsheet. And then I have the weekly stake coins, so this is all the coins staked in the previous week, so that's the 20th to the 26th of August in this uh, update. And then the weekly stake amount, and this again uh, uses uh, the data from the day that they were staked. So this is um, the total amount for each of the individual days that they staked this week. And then I've put here, somebody asked me for a yearly uh, percentage coin return, so this is literally for the amount of coins that get uh, returned compared to the total amount of coins. So in the case of Navcoin here, it's 5.31% coin return. And then this is a column I used to have as well, which is the yearly uh, dollar return. Now these two columns will be broadly similar. The only kind of differences you'll see really are whether the price has been going up or down really this week. So. Um, if we get in less, so if we look at the bottom here, the coin return is to just over 200%, 204%. Uh, the uh, dollar return is 170 and that's because the price has declined through the kind of week. So these two columns will be broadly similar, but somebody did ask uh, specifically for a percentage coin return, so I've included uh, that column there. So let's go through the stakes for this week. So starting at the top, Navcoin, a 7.48 coin stake worth $1.96. Syndicate 90.1 coins worth $6.54. Neutron two stakes, uh, 10.06 neutron worth 25 cents. Uh, Neo gas, so 0.3396744 gas staked from our 191 Neo worth $1.95. Uh, bean cash, 384.64 worth 87 cents. Uh, smart cash, we had 530.05. Now this was a mixture of smart node rewards and also the smart rewards. Um, so once a month on the 25th, I think it is, um, if you've held more than a thousand coins in a wallet and you haven't had any outgoing transactions from that address in the month, you get smart rewards. It's um, it's a few percent a month, so it's not kind of huge, but it does make a substantial difference on the last week of the month when the uh, when the coins come in. So I think each of my addresses, which holds just over 10,000, so each of my smart node addresses, uh, I think got about 173 uh, coins last week in smart rewards. So that was worth uh, $24.11, so really good week for smart cash. Uh, Linda, 3,608.7 coins worth $4.90. Uh, Chroma, 71.84 coins worth $4.17. Uh, Pivx, uh, 0.58, we've only got a small amount of Pivx and it's quite a low staking um, coin, but we've got uh, good stakes this week, um, so 0.58 worth 65 cents. And then a shard here at the bottom, 21.41 coins worth $1.21. And the overall figures for the week, $46.61, that's up substantially on the previous week. That's largely reflected by the fact that Smart Cash had the Smart Rewards this week, but uh, we were just under $30 I think last week, so a lot better a lot better uh, staking rewards this week. Um, total worth 8,632. Now that's down, I think, a couple of hundred dollars. I think we were 8.8 .8 last week. So for the last couple of weeks, 
the coins uh, totaled up have been trending pretty much sideways. I think we went from 8,700 to 8,800 down to 8,600. So broadly similar. Um, the total staked amounts is quite interesting. So $4,042.38. Now this is the total amount I staked at the prices when they actually kind of staked. Now I didn't sell these. I don't sell coins on, on a daily basis. So I didn't um, realize um, all of this kind of, kind of revenue. You can see here Syndicate, massive staker here, $2,944. This was um, when the network was under attack. It was doing huge amounts of staking rewards before we switched onto the new network. So um, that's what kind of skews that upwards, you know, quite a lot. But yeah, if we'd sold all the coins on the day we actually kind of staked them, it'd be four thousand and forty-two dollars thirty-eight. Now let's jump over to the next table. So this reflects um, more kind of dollar amount. So this is really kind of cost of acquisition, um, the current kind of worth, anything we've realized, so any coins we've sold and the, uh, the dollar amounts that we sold at, and then total kind of profits or losses in this case and return on investment. So I've added this extra column which shows you when I started staking or setting up the mass nodes for these particular coins. Um, now, in some cases, NAV coins, so I started collecting NAV a little bit before that, but I don't think I was staking until November. Um, with Syndicate, I was staking then, and then late, later on, I set up uh, master nodes. Uh, with Neo Gas, I bought my first 100 Neo in March, but then I, I subsequently topped it up. So it gives you a broad um, overview of when I started kind of staking. But um, there's no real kind of defining kind of way I've done it. You know, in some cases, I've bought. Uh, coins in different kind of tranches so navcoin i think i've bought over sort of six different sort of purchases over the period of a few months um syndicate i think i, I bought some more coins later on in the kind of year to set up some master notes so it's been a little bit of a variety but it will give you a broad idea of when i started staking or setting up master notes for each of the coins and then the total cost so this is the total cost of coins when i actually purchased them and i think this should be pretty accurate um, I've had to go back because some coins I bought in different kind of amounts. I've had to kind of go back, try and work out the kind of prices of the amount of kind of coins on the days that I kind of bought them. So this uh, should be broad broadly accurate. It's as accurate as I can kind of make it. Uh, the current worth is basically just based on the spot price midnight last night multiplied by the number of coins and then realized profits. So when I've sold coins, so you can see Syndicate here. Um, unfortunately, I didn't sell um, Syndicate when it was at that real peak. Um, with uh, deposits and withdrawals were uh, mainly um, uh, you couldn't deposit or withdraw from the exchanges um, during the kind of coin swap when it was at a really kind of peak. So I didn't manage to sell them those. But um, for a lot of these coins now, I'm going to start selling my staking rewards, you know, at the beginning of the next month. So I will update this realized profit. So this is the amount of coins um, I sold and the price of them on the days that I sold. So this will just be a, a total kind of figure. So you can see here, Syndicate, uh, $598 worth of coins sold. Um, now, in a lot of cases, I didn't convert this to cash. I actually kind of uh, bought other coins or convert them to other coins. But this is the dollar amount on the, t uh, the days that I sold them. You can see here, um, this was uh, basically the gas that I staked when I actually sold it for uh, NEO. So that was makes the, the 191th NEO, did that a few weeks ago. And we see Linda here, um, a couple of days ago, I exchanged some Linda, I think it was 47,000 for some Linda X, which is their new uh, token, which is going live. It's in pre ICO. I bought that through my node pool um, and they were given I think I bought 100 and they were giving away 100 for free so they were matching your purchase so um, that's the small amounts that I kind of realized for most of the coins there are uh, no figures because I haven't actually sold any of them yet but going forward I may choose to start selling them particularly when the prices spike up and then we have here total profit so that's uh, cost minus the current worth so you can see everything here is a negative and then a return on investment so uh, the return on investment you know basically what it's worth now in in comparison to what it was worth when we bought it now the general trend i mean obviously everything's kind of down we've been we started staking towards the end of last year navcoin which is quite a low staking coin and then most of them started staking at the beginning of this year and we've added some more coins as the year's gone on you can see here chardon uh, Pivx. Um, although I got the Pivx last year, I only started staking it on a pool uh, in July. Shard I acquired in uh, July as well, started um, staking there in a Chroma back in June. We set up the master node. So you would anticipate the coins that we bought more recently not to have dropped as much as ones um, that we purchased kind of earlier. And that's the, the broad trend. So the earlier kind of coins. 
um, have dropped a lot more um, many of them kind of in line with Bitcoin but a lot of them at a huge amount more if we take Neutron here you know an awful investment we bought basically right at the peak and when I say bought um, I don't think I bought any of these coins or maybe with the exception of a few smart cash for that latest um, smart node setup video but I don't think we bought any of them for kind of cash they were just uh, tran um, transfers from existing coins so um, I had quite a lot of dash um, that I was kind of cashing in bit by bit and then kind of buying different kind of coins so you can see here Neutron um, we bought basically at the peak uh, Neutron I think today was worth about two and a half cents and it's all-time high was up in the kind of 90 cents almost a dollar range so um, it's been devastated uh, that syndicate um, would be down I think probably almost as much not maybe quite as much but we realized some profit from that not at the highs but because we sold a bit you know that's um, reflected in the fact we haven't lost as much um, neo gas um, again I bought uh, neo back in March it was about hundred dollars it's currently sat there about eighteen dollars the extra amount that I bought a couple of weeks ago uh, basically the same price as it is today so that's um, that's kind of mitigated some of those losses and if you know if and when neo goes back up to about fifty dollars I should be kind of all kind of squared away because of that kind of dollar cost averaging of, of buying in then <clears throat> bean cash a really big loss I think bean cash is a dying project um, there's been no progress on it you know there's a lot of coins that um, you know I wouldn't advise kind of buying and I'm going to do um, either today or tomorrow um, certainly this week the what coins I have and why I kind of bought them and what I think about them going forward um, a few people have been asking me about that so I'll do that in a separate video so this doesn't get too long um, Linda's not been too bad you know we've only had that since kind of April everything's kind of been down you know even if we'd just held in Bitcoin we'd be down since sort of January probably down about the similar amount as kind of syndicate but a lot of coins dropped a lot more than that Neo, um, Neutron, Bean Cash, um, Smart Cash we didn't buy till kind of April so down substantially a Chroma you know really risky kind of like new kind of project coming up it's dropped quite a lot in value um, and then kind of pivots in shard you know just showing that general downward trend in the last few months so overall we spent uh, $31,269 for all of these uh, staking and master coins currently worth $8,632 and we've had $659 of realized profit so that's a total loss of $21,977 or return on investment uh, minus 70.29%. Quite depressing really to look at those figures, but indicative just of the fact that the market as a whole has gone down massively this year. Now, if we look at the uh, graphs quickly, we can see here uh, our staking amounts this uh, week went up substantially. So we're up to $46. As I said, that's mainly down to the smart rewards payments coming in this month, but uh, reversing that trend of the last few weeks of going down and down and down. Uh, but uh, if we look at the total amounts, we can see we're very similar to the last couple of weeks, but it's actually uh, an all time low by probably about $100 on a couple of weeks ago. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, thanks very much for watching. If it's bank holiday where you are, I uh, hope you're having a nice day off, relaxing day off. Um, let me know what you think about the new kind of figures, whether there's anything else you'd like me to add or whether you think there's stuff that is superfluous and you'd like uh, removed. But anyway, um, I really like to see your comments. Um, the only other thing I, I want to see briefly was that I receive um, uh, Gmail notifications when uh, people post comments on videos but sometimes um, I receive the comments so I see the comment in the email but when I actually go to the video it's not posted and it's no it's not in the sort of spam section of the kind of comments either so occasionally you might uh, post a comment that doesn't appear on the video and it's not me deleting them you know if it was pure spam it would get deleted but if it's a legitimate question um, sometimes they just I don't know what's wrong with YouTube but sometimes they don't appear somebody was asking me about uh, being cash saying why don't I stake in the wallet rather than on a staking pool uh, because I get more coins um, that way and the reason was I did used to stake um, on a local wallet and it worked perfectly until about um, a month or two ago and then it just stopped staking I tried reblocking the coins I tried lots of different things and I just I, I didn't receive a single stake after that so that's why I made the decision to move uh, bin cash onto a staking pool so yeah I probably would be making more if I was able to stake um, on a local wallet but unfortunately it's just not working for me but uh, I might try again in the future anyway Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Leave any comments uh, below. Give me a thumbs up. That would be great. And hopefully I will see you on the next video.